how to convert block references to page references. Although Rob Haysfield has moved on from Rome Research, he's left us with a bunch of cool tricks, notably for leveraging queries in Rome, but also some lesser known, but no less awesome Rome Foo techniques, such as this one from one of Jason Griffin's Rome summits, as they used to be called. But like when I'm looking through all of the block references for these, I can filter those as though I was filtering linked references to a page. However, the, the distinction is all of the options that I have to filter by are page references. I don't, I can't filter by any block references here. So like technically speaking, page references are strictly more powerful than block references if you're using them for the same organizational purposes uh, right now. But right. I wanna, I, oh, sorry, someone was gonna. No, 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 go ahead. I just wanted to show a quick workflow that you could do though, if you're like, oh, I've got 13 linked references to this block, maybe I should turn it into a page at this point. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click in, see this page reference. This is like, um, or see this block reference, the ID there. I'm even gonna zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to put double brackets around it. Uh, now that was weird. What did I just do there? Wait, I just wanna copy that to my clipboard so I can search in the search bar, but I'm gonna put double brackets around it. And now I'm going to go to this page for this block reference. And I'm gonna look at all the unlinked references. I'm gonna <laughs> link all of them. And then I'm going to change the name of this to- the Wizard, oh my goodness. Should we automatically, or <laughs> can we automatically generate a GUI for a command line tool or will it have to be user generated? Um, yeah, and, and so now I have just turned all of those block references into a page reference um, and sort of like escalated it in terms of importance.